recovered from the hangover. Time to go to Warsaw. Hi everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog. As you can see, today we are in Warsaw, but we aren't here for extra class of football. We're here for first division football. Last season I was asked several times to come review the stadium, review the atmosphere, and today I'm finally here. Unintentionally, I'm wearing all black. We're gonna watch Czarny Koszule, also known as Polonia Warsaw, and it will be a big game today. That's why I picked it. It's against Rogozhov. Now I'm quite early here, so there's still some time to kill. So let's go into Warsaw. I need to refill my life juice, so let's go. Enough tour stuff, let's get to the stadium. So the match for today is between Polonia and Warsaw and Ruch Hozhov. And Ruch is bringing a lot of fans, but more about that later when we have the stadium. But both teams are in form, they haven't lost for a while. Polonia hasn't lost since October, beginning of October. And Ruch has won five games in a row and are of course looking for the sixth one. On the table there's a seven point difference between them, but I'm expecting a very close match. And to be honest, I'm thinking a draw. I just hope, not a 0-0, but like a 2-2 or something. I'm impressed, like what stadium has a fountain. There is some influencer, Polish YouTuber that just chased away some people for his pictures, which is kind of dickish. Got a scarf for the collection. That's the guy. So anyways, today is a special situation regarding uh, the visit because normally in Sector C on the main stand that's where the Polonia Ultras are however for today they moved to the other side and they gave the Sector to Ruch so that's why there's a lot of police and they're waiting for Niebieski and I heard in the past they also did this for Widzew So this sector behind me will be full of roof. I could have brought my roof scarf. I have to say it's an old school stadium, uh, but the view is good on the field, so.
entertaining game. Uh, Sidewalk is getting cooked by Vega. Ooh, looks very vulnerable down that side. Uh, Vega just ran past Sidewalk on several occasions. And yeah, the game just is. Ruch had the big opportunity at the end. Uh, but so far it's, it's not really working for them. I just noticed the Polonia Ultra side has removed their banners. Let's hope it's because of a big frame. I wanted to get a sausage, but the lines are too big on both locations, so I have to skip it, unfortunately. They look good, though. the train uh, we feel we'll be back in Katowice one eternity later so we're back in Katowice but it was a good match uh, some tough challenges in there 
but both sides uh, were kind of equal. Polonia is now two points away from the playoff zones, so so something could happen there. And for Ruch, I've seen it so many times. Poor first half, second half slightly better. And I've seen it now with like, what, four coaches? Uh, so something is wrong there with their match analysts. It definitely looks like they don't even bother uh, analyzing the opponent. Like again, Sadluk, who put Sadluk one-on-one with Vega? Like, let's hope they can close off the year well with some more points. But yeah, I enjoyed my first time at Polonia Warszawa. It's a nice old stadium. It kind of reminds me of Bukova, but the main stand is less steep than at Bukova. The atmosphere from both sides was great. Nice pyros, good support, good vocal support, even on my sector. But yeah, I enjoyed my visit. I will definitely be back. But that was it for this weekend. Thank you all for joining me. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do. I will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.